Between January 1, 2020 and April 28 of this year, roughly 650 billionaires in America saw their net worth increase by a jaw-dropping 35%, according to Forbes. That's a move from $3.4 trillion to $4.6 trillion. With that kind of cash, you could probably go quite a long way to solving world hunger or mitigating the effects of climate change. Or you could engage in a self-indulgent battle to get yourself into space before any of the other billionaires, like Richard Branson and Jeff Bezos. Here's what you need to know. The battle between three high-profile billionaires to make commercial spaceflight viable has intensified after Richard Branson's Virgin Galactic secured a license from the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration to fly passengers on space flights, according to CNBC. CNBC reports Virgin Galactic spacecraft Unity can hold up to six passengers, plus two pilots, and already has around 600 reservations for future flights, sold at between $200,000 and $250,000. It has three more tests planned before completing development. Officially, the second of those will fly founder Richard Branson into space, but according to a leak reported by space blog Parabolic Arc, Branson could be a passenger on the first test, which would mean him getting to space just over two weeks in advance of Blue Origin founder Jeff Bezos. Bezos' company will fly 62 miles or 100 kilometers up into space, according to the BBC. That's beyond the internationally recognized Kármán line for space and clear of Virgin Galactic's recent test, which flew up to 55 miles or 89 kilometers. Bezos, his brother Mark, and an auction winner who paid $28 million for their seat plan to fly on July 20th. Blue Origin's new Shepard crew capsule can hold six passengers, according to the company's website. The third billionaire-fronted company involved in a potential commercial space race is Elon Musk's SpaceX. SpaceX has already worked with NASA to fly astronauts to the International Space Station, but is renting out its Dragon capsule for its first private space flight this autumn, which plans to orbit Earth for three days. SpaceX's Dragon capsule has the largest capacity of the three, capable of carrying up to seven passengers, according to the company's website. It is the first private spacecraft to take humans to the space station. This space battle is all set to continue through the coming years and months, with one Harvard Business School professor and expert in the economics of space telling The Guardian that we could be about to see a new era of thriving commercial activity in space. SpaceX's recent achievements, as well as upcoming efforts by Boeing, Blue Origin, and Virgin Galactic to put people in space sustainably and at scale, mark the opening of a new chapter of spaceflight led by private firms, he said, before adding, they have both the intention and the capability to bring private citizens to space as passengers, tourists, and eventually settlers, opening the door for businesses to start meeting the demand those people create over the next several decades. The same expert explained that he expects there to be a crucial shift from money spent in space to benefit Earth, such as investments in telecommunications and internet infrastructure, to a model focused on space conquest for its own sake. This might include mining asteroids or the moon for raw materials necessary to support human habitat and fuel deeper space missions to Mars. The billionaires have differing long-term goals in space, though, according to the founder and senior analyst of SpacePolicyOnline.com, Marcia Smith, who also spoke to The Guardian. Musk is totally about Mars, she said. His passion is to get people to Mars as a backup plan to Earth and to make humanity a multi-planet species. Bezos is interested in the moon and in the space between Earth and the moon. He wants to move all of the heavy industry off Earth and into cislunar space. He talks about rezoning Earth for light industry and habitation. So they both are interested in trying to save Earth because of all the problems Earth is having, but they have very different visions as to how that's going to happen. Unfortunately, Smith did not comment on Richard Branson's plans for saving the world, but if we look at the plans of the other two, and we combine it with what we know of his life's work, we can safely assume it will involve a lot of him standing around in front of cameras wearing a spacesuit. In the not-so-distant past, normal people used to dream of being astronauts, bursting up into the sky and seeing the universe. It was always a far-off dream, with only a few hundred people ever having gone into space even at this point, but it was a dream nonetheless. Now though, even that dream has disappeared and been replaced by something far less ambitious. Instead of hoping us normies can one day make it to space, we've started rooting for billionaires to do it for us. As we've watched them control more and more of the world's wealth, we've seemingly given up on our own wide-eyed dreams and decided instead to live vicariously through the likes of Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk, and Richard Branson as they chase their personal space dreams. 
This is more than a little tragic on our part, but the consolation prize is that the latest installment of watching rich guys do cool stuff is a pretty good one. That's because until now, the Musk, Branson, Bezos space race has been a battle to build new technology that's capable of reaching space, but things have suddenly gotten personal, with one of those three guys seemingly making a desperate lunge to physically reach space first. Here's what you need to know. Virgin Galactic may be working to send billionaire Virgin owner Richard Branson on a suborbital spaceflight two weeks before Amazon founder Bezos plans to board his Blue Origin company's new Shepard vehicle to do the same thing, according to an anonymous source who spoke to space blog Parabolic Arc. Both flights are referred to as suborbital, which means they do not reach speeds high enough to remain in Earth's orbit once they reach space, according to Space.com. The flights do not come without risks. In 2014, a Virgin Galactic test flight crashed over the Mojave Desert, killing one of its pilots, according to the BBC. Furthermore, there are questions over what it means to reach space. Virgin Galactic's latest test flight reached more than 55 miles or 89 kilometers above Earth, according to Space.com. This is above NASA's 50-mile or 80-kilometer definition of space. Blue Origin's New Shepard can reach above 62 miles or 100 kilometers, according to the BBC. That's known as the Kármán line, which broad international agreement designates as the starting point for space. So if the parabolic arc source is correct, Branson might get to space first, and Bezos might get to space better. However, there are mixed signals coming out of Virgin Galactic. After Bezos' trip to space was confirmed, Branson fueled the rumors he tried to beat Bezos to it by tantalizingly tweeting, Watch this space. But Branson's company released a statement saying that it had not yet decided on the date for its next test flight because it is still waiting on a license to fly. It also did not confirm or deny whether Branson will be present on that flight. The mixed messages from owner and company add to the slight sense of desperation around Branson, as though maybe he really wants this to happen, even if his company can't make the same guarantees. There's a sense around the whole thing that Branson is a bit of a beta billionaire, with his net wealth recently estimated by Forbes to be less than 2.5% of Bezos' ridiculous $201 billion. He really wants it, but can his company actually deliver it? At the moment, he's like the guy who goes on running and starts trying to race everyone else he comes across, but no one has really noticed because he's still way slower than them. None of it's really very edifying. But on the other hand, maybe it could be the start of some more literal competition between billionaires? Maybe we could all watch and see who could eat the most money? Or who could sail their super yacht around the world fastest? Or maybe we should just go back to putting monkeys in space. At least they wouldn't boast about who got there first and would generally be a bit cooler about the whole thing. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.